Hey, this is Father Robert from Gadget at thetechstop.net, the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm still here in San Jose, California at the Netgear headquarters, and they foolishly left me alone, so I get to explain a few things about the ReadyNAS, we'll call it the Enterprise Business Class line. Now, you may see that I've got three different units here. These are all in the Business Class line, so they all support uh, iSCSI. They all have a higher performance than the home counterparts, but they're targeted at different applications. This is the 2100. Now let me explain really quickly that they, they deciphered the numbering system for me. The first number, so 1100, 2100, 3100, refers to how much power is in, in the unit. The higher the number, the more power. The second unit refers to how high it is, 1U or 2U, so that when you rack mount it, you know how much space it's going to take up. Now the 2100 is their entry level. It's designed for those people who want something that's not slow, but not excessively fast. Something that's inexpensive that could be a starter unit so that you have good on-network backup storage. You go one level above that and you get this. This is the 3100. It is a 1U version of the 3200 that's behind me. Now this thing is a monster. It's as fast as the 3200 but because it has one-third as many drives the overall throughput will be less. There's just fewer drives, fewer drives to pull data from. And of course, down below, we've got this, the 4200. This is the granddaddy of them all. This outperforms every other unit. In fact, it will outperform that 3200 by up to three times because it's got that 10 gig card. Now, you need to go to the ReadyNAS website, www.readynas.com, to check out the specs on each of these individual units. But the cool thing is that Netgear has committed themselves to first having a unified line. So I've got the same operating system across all these devices, but also having a device that will fit the storage requirements you have. If you just need backup and you're not going to be doing video editing from your storage device, you get the 2100. If you need something that's a little bit faster, but perhaps not as many drives as a 3200, you get the 3100. If you need something for first tier storage that you're going to be running a VMware cluster from, you get the 4200. That's my storage talk. I'm Father Robert. And remember, there's no Uber geek without you.